All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Survival Stats widget, which is being made by user Nianka. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, kind of self-explanatory from the name, and frankly, you've probably noticed what's at the top of my screen already. Yes, that's right, this mod adds in lovely status bars for all the different survival stats, and I, oh, I'm so happy about that. It is one of my biggest annoyances with the survival mode with my Frost series that I never know quite how tired or quite how thirsty or hungry I am. It's always just some obscure idea until I get the little icon down in the lower right hand corner or of course see my status effects in here. I, I really never know how tired I am and that's something frankly I really should be able to see in a survival game. And now, thanks to this mod, we have that capability and it is wonderful because not only does it give us this information, but it gives it to us in a configurable manner. So if, say, perhaps you're not happy with the placement of where those are up at the top of my screen, you can change it. Don't like that it's going horizontally across the top? You can change it. Don't like the size? You can change it. All of that is configurable thanks to a hollow tape that gets added into your inventory, which is called Def Widgets Config Hollow Tape. And if we click in that, we have the Survival Stats widget, which we go into. And from inside this, you can fine tune exactly how you want this thing to be. So, for instance, the size, how big those were on the top of my screen up there, I messed with that before uh, starting up the episode so you guys could see it better. But the default, of course, is if we uh, lower this thing down. Oh, that takes a little bit more work since I have to reset down to decrease each time. There we go. The default is set to 1 for this. So if we hit Done here and tab out, there we go. That's the standard size, which, of course, is much nicer, at least in my opinion, as it's must much less obtrusive. It's just these tiny little status bars up at the top. And, of course, as you saw, you could make those smaller. The default was 1, and you can go up and down in increments of 0.1. And, of course, if we open it back up, you can see that you can adjust a whole lot of other things as well. If you want to move its X position, you can do so by clicking here. And and increasing or decreasing by either intervals of 10 or 100. If you're wanting to change the Y position, so the vertical positioning on the screen, same deal, just by tens and hundreds here, and you're good to go. We have the effects messages, which I'm not entirely sure if those work, because no matter what I click on this, it always says that it's off here, but tells me that it's enabled. So I'm not entirely sure on that one. I think that's a little bit buggy at the moment. We do also have a caffeine indicator, which is quite cool. I'll show that off momentarily so that if you do drink, say, you know, a Nuka Cola, it'll actually give you a progress bar telling you how long you have left for that caffeinated effect. And that, again, another thing, very cool, I love it. The more information, the better. The next thing we have is either horizontal or vertical alignment, which if we click that and change it to vertical, and tab out, you can see it just changes it so that they are on top of one another. So just depending on how you do like it, yeah, you can have it across the screen or going down it, very cool. Now another thing, actually if I tab back out, notice that that, the tired indicator is actually a much darker green than the top two bars. It's one of the cool things with this. The further down they go, the difference, the color changes. So it goes from the light green to a, a darker green to orange, yellow, down to red, etc. Now, if you don't like that effect for some reason, I mean, come on, that's another visual indicator, you can actually turn that off by this. That is the colored indicator, which by default is on, but if you don't want it, it can be turned off. And I actually should point out the caffeinated indicator is actually turned off by default because apparently, oh, hold on, let me look at my other screen real quick. Uh, the mod maker does have a known bug with this that uh, sometimes the caffeinated indicator doesn't go away, I guess is what happens. Uh, so that is by default off for now, but personally, 
I still like having it. So, how do the bars change? Well, let's actually just tab out of here, and as you can see, we are tired, and well, we could go to sleep, or to show off the caffeinated indicator, let's go into the aid category and quickly just go down and grab a Nuka Cola. Bam, there we go, caffeine in the veins. And excellent, there you are. You see, we have six minutes on the caffeine bar, and that is awesome so we've got the lovely little nuka cola bottle there and exactly how much time until it is done so now you know exactly how long you have for to or to do rather whatever it is you need to do while caffeinated whether that's how much time you need to get home or to fight off some baddies what have you and that's just another wonderful fun indicator now of course uh, if we do eat some food you'll notice that the food bar which is currently only down slightly if we do eat something here uh, say perhaps some grilled rat roach there we go you can see the bar did go up, but not a whole lot. It is grilled rad roach after all. Let's get something more substantial. Ah, a noodle cup, which will also change uh, the hydrated status as well. So if we eat that, there we are. You saw both of those go up a little bit. And of course, with rested, we do have the caffeine. But if you did so desire, you could sleep in the bed for about an hour and it'll go up. Uh, oh, actually, no, since that was just an hour, that's <laughs> not a good rest. We're actually worse off now. We're wary. Of course, of course, because fallout. Yep, fallout. <laughs> But yeah, there you go. You can actually see the dar even darker green color that we have there uh, again, which it will go to orange and then ye or no wait, it'll go to yellow next then orange. Yes, that sounds right. That sounds right indeed. Let's actually test that. Let's sleep for another hour. Boom. And wary still now oh, that one actually got us a little bit of sleep. Yeah, see, I don't understand. I don't understand survival sometimes. But yes, there we go. That is the survival stats widget. Not really much more I can go into uh, with this, really. You have the lovely bars. They change color to which will tell you visually how bad or how good you're doing, along with the actual sort of, uh, I guess, percentage, you'd call it, on the status bar itself. You got the caffeine bar. You have that lovely uh, holotape in here for confusion figuring the items to your heart's content. And overall, it's a wonderful tool that frankly, anyone should include, in my opinion, into their survival gameplay. In fact, I'm planning on keeping this for my Frost playthrough, as it will probably save my butt at some point, as I I sometimes lose track of how tired, hungry, etc. I am. So it is definitely staying in my playthrough, and I hope you all give it a try, and if you'd like to, you can check the link in the description, as always. Uh, but that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next episode, when we'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!